At that time, I lived in Queens, New York. I was an EMT. I had just started two months, not even two months prior to 9-11 with EMS. And um, it's like, oh my God, this is my first time in this field. And this is an actual emergency. What do I do? It's like my whole body froze. So I just went with the flow and I went with my partner. We jumped in the ambulance and went down there to help do whatever we can. My name is Kaludi Ramcharan. I'm a TSO at Newark Liberty International Airport. I heard in the office they said, someone said that the plane just crashed into the World Trade Center. And I just froze knowing my husband worked in the building. So I started fran frantically trying to call him on my cell phone. We weren't getting any reception. I used all the phones we had in the office to call him. But I couldn't get through, so I wasn't sure if he was alive or not. When we, when we got to the city, I still did not get in touch with my husband. There was a building close by. Someone said they got, there's a phone that's working. So I called him at home and I heard his voice. <laughs> that was the biggest relief that I felt all day. Because the minute that we stopped and we saw this first sign, we took a picture, I was like already choked up because I couldn't believe it. I, you know, just, wow, we're here. This is where that plane that left from our airport, you know, that's unbelievable. My name is Ophelia Ruiz, customer support manager. It was very traumatizing for me because I have a very close friend that worked for United Airlines and um, I used to go down that corridor. I was at the airport since 1985. I used to go down that checkpoint where 93 departed from all the time. That's why we're here. It, it's to, to look and see, you know, you know what happened, you heard what happened, you live it and deal with it every day, especially who we work for, but to actually come and look out there and physically think that serious. physically 40 people lost their lives there. There's, there. there's no words. There are just no words. When I thought about that, as I'm watching um, this building come down, how many lives were really affected by that? Um, and it, it literally just brought me to tears. I mean, I'm just uncontrolled um, because of what I knew was happening and to whom it was happening. My name is Herb Albert. I'm a training instructor for the Transportation Security Administration. I work at the Lynchburg Regional Airport, the Charlottesville Airport, and the Shenandoah. Because I couldn't imagine feeling like I'm feeling now, just reading about it. But when you kind of hear and walk on this ground and you look at the names, you make a connection to a reality that took place. And, you know, it's kind of, it sinks in with a lot more, I guess, strength, you know, that people lost their lives here. But when you walk away, the sound is that there's life moving on this ground. The benches and everything else, the serenity of it and the stillness of it represent the death that took place, the sacrifice. And as we walk away, we hear life. We sense life. We can touch life. I believe that every day is an opportunity to help officers not get complacent uh, because we don't have any opportunities to get it wrong our enemies or they, they have, they can get it wrong every day until they get it right. And the day that they get it right is the day that we've lost that opportunity. I was in building four at the time, right outside the pass station. We honestly thought when we saw people running that it was shooting because we didn't feel anything. 
My name is Rosalie Garcia. I've been with TSA for 10 years now. Oh yeah, I still have nightmares. It doesn't go away. Coming down here is the first time I've been down here since it happened. My son brought me down. My son did that in honor of me. My younger son was 13 at the time and had just started high school. Hadn't finished his first week of high school at Stuyvesant, which is just four blocks north of the Trade Tower site. My name is Tim Brennan, and I am a lead transportation security officer at LaGuardia Airport. Fortunately for my family, no, nobody, nobody was hurt. My younger son, Alex, today is an infantry officer, uh, and he's stationed in Afghanistan today. Well, obviously, everybody was touched by what happened, but I think as a country, we became united. The TSA service was built up, the Federal Air Marshal Service was built up, and now we have a force of people that are ready to do the job. My name is Alfred Burgess. I am a Federal Air Marshal. Because on that day, on that day, aircrafts were not secured the way we wanted it to, to be secured. That day, dreams were, were not realized because people had passion, people had dreams that they wanted to accomplish. It was not accomplished because what happened that day. It, it, we got to remind everyone of our mission and, and why we're there. And especially our own people, we have to remind them as well. So overwhelming. I think I expected it to be a lot smaller. I didn't expect to see so many people here. My name is Sabrina Boyko Sosa. I am a Master Behavior Detection Officer at LaGuardia Airport in New York City. And at the time, I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't think that it was a terrorist attack. I don't think I even knew what that was because I was so young and naive. My perception of what was going on then is so different to what I think about 9-11 now. September 11, 2001, on a clear Tuesday morning. Sorry. Nineteen terrorists from the Islamic extremist group Al Qaeda hijacked four commercial airplanes. And when I think about that, sorry. And now, being where I am and working for TSA now, I read this. And I am so proud to say that I know that that is not going to happen. Not through our checkpoints. They're not going to get through. My name is Rosalie Garcia. And as long as I'm with TSA, I hope to never have this happen again and I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't. Never again on my watch. Never again, I will not forget, it will not happen on my watch. Never again on my watch. Never again on my watch. Me llamo Sabrina Boyko Sosa y estoy tan orgullosa de ser de parte de TSA.